Welcome to the Vision Report training video. During this video, you will learn about the different features Vision Report offers, how to navigate the reporting software, and how to ensure accurate reporting numbers. The first feature of Vision Report we will cover is interventions. Now you're probably wondering, what are interventions? Interventions occur when the data from your dealer management system is imported into Vision Menu and does not match up with any previous data in the Vision Menu system. When you log on for the first time, you will see a pop-up window. This window is just letting you know that you have interventions and your report numbers will not be accurate until they are cleared. So where do you find these interventions? Interventions will appear in two locations. The first place is on the left side of the screen. This tells you how many deals, as well as, allows you to see the deals that have an intervention. The second place is in the center of the screen within the yellow box. This section lets you know how many interventions there are and what is causing them. Interventions can be caused by a variety of different methods but the most common interventions are products and employees. So how do we clear these interventions so the report numbers will be accurate? Well, clearing the interventions is a very simple process. First, you will click on one of the numbers being displayed in the yellow box in the center of the screen. This will bring up a window that will show you exactly what is wrong with the deal. As you can see, this window gives you a plethora of information. It lets you know the date sold, deal number, name of the product as it came across from the DMS, and even the price and cost of the product. After the cost, you will see a drop-down box with a list of names. These names represent what products are in the Vision Menu system. Secondly, you will click on the drop-down box displaying all the products listed in the Vision Menu system. Then you will select the correct product name from the drop-down list that corresponds with the DMS product information. Once you do this, all other products with that same DMS name will automatically be mapped to the Vision Menu product name via our intelligent mapping system for any historical data as well as any future data. You will repeat these steps until all interventions are cleared within that section. Once you have cleared the section, you will move on to the next section until all interventions are taken care of. Now, the more descriptive you are with naming the products, the easier it will be to map the interventions. Also, the more consistent you are with naming the products, the less interventions you will have and the less work that will be required. Doing this process on a daily basis should only take a few minutes each day. Hence, this will ensure your dealership has accurate reporting information. The interventions shown in this location are extremely important. If there are any interventions in the yellow box, your report numbers will not be accurate because these deals will be excluded from the total unit, total product, and total profit count. The next feature of Vision Report is the dashboard. The dashboard is a quick and easy way to view all the report numbers on one screen. Vision Report offers widgets or snapshots of the reporting numbers on the dashboard. This feature is completely customizable by individual user. Also, each widget can display different information. For example, you can rank your employees by finance manager, sales manager, or even salesperson. Located next to the Deal Ledger button, you will see the Dashboard button. Click on that. This will take you to the dashboard. You can also have a quick link to your favorite Vision Menu reports. You can remove widgets by clicking on the X. You can also add a new widget by clicking on the Add Product button located in the upper right corner. This will bring up a list of different options you can choose from. Once you have all the information you would like to display, you can move them around and organize them as you choose by simply clicking, dragging, and dropping them wherever you'd like. Once you have your dashboard set up, you are ready to view the rest of the reports. As you can see, the dashboard is a great tool for the busy employee. 
but if you have time and want to see in-depth numbers, then you will want to view our report list. Before getting into the reports, let's learn how to navigate vision reports. We are going to begin with the parameters section. The first area is the dealerships section. This will allow you to choose which dealerships reports you want to see, as well as being able to view all dealerships you have access to. Next is the vehicle section. This allows you to show your finance numbers by new cars, used cars, or both. After that is the dates section. These fields allow you to view past reporting data by simply changing the dates to the range you wish to view. After that, we come to the deal types section. This area allows you to view the report numbers by finance deals only, lease deals only, cash deals only, or walk-in deals only. Next, we have the Group by Product Type section. This will allow you to view your products by product type instead of individual product provider. Finally, every one of our reports can be exported into a variety of formats by simply selecting the format from the Select a Format section. Now that you know how to navigate the Parameters section, let's cover a few of the most commonly used reports by Vision Report customers. F&I Control Log, F&I Analyzer, Employee Column Report, The first report we are going to cover is the Employee Column Report. This report shows the back-end aftermarket numbers for individual employees in a side-by-side -side comparison. Right now, we are viewing it for finance managers, but this report can also be run by a sales manager or salesperson. As you can see, this report not only gives you the total number of units sold, but it also gives you the product penetrations, incomes, and average profit per product. Not only do we give you the number by product type, but we also break it down by individual product provider. The section on the report is in the Highlights section. This section provides you with the dollar per retail, dollar per finance, dollar per cash, and dollar per lease deal, as well as the total F&I income, the percent reserve, and the index. The index section can be calculated three different ways. The most common way is the unit index. This allows you to know the average number of products sold on each deal. The next most commonly used report is the F&I Analyzer. This report is similar to the Employee Column Report in regards to the information that is displayed. It provides you with a unit count, product penetration, income, product averages, and even a highlight section. A few differences are this report only shows the numbers for the finance managers, as a total or as an individual. We also break out the numbers by new vehicles sold, used vehicles sold, walk-in deals, and total number of deals. Another difference is that you can set goals for either a dealership or an individual. This allows you to track the progress of the employees or create a little competition within the dealership. The last report we are going to cover is the F&I Control Log. Unlike the other reports, which only include qualified deals, this report shows every deal that has been finalized and is in the Vision Menu system. In addition, it gives you the deal information, vehicle information, lender information, gross profit, which employees were involved in the deal, and an individual profit breakout of every product that was sold in the deal. This is a great report to identify if there are any discrepancies in numbers. The next feature is our e-subscriptions. Our reporting software is able to send any one of our reports straight to any email address via PDF. All that's required is to let us know which report you want sent, when you'd like it sent, and the email address in which to send the report. Next is mobile reporting you are able to access snapshots of some of the most common reports that Vision Menu has to offer. All you have to do is go to www.visionmenu.com on your smartphone and log in like you normally would. 
This will grant you access to the mobile reporting site and allow you to stay on top of the numbers when you're away from your computer. Thank you for taking the time to go through the Vision Report training video. We hope this has been of help to you. As stated before, the reports shown are some of the most commonly used reports by current Vision Report customers. If you have any questions over any reports that you've viewed during the training, please contact our support staff at area code 260-755-3224 or email any other questions to support at visionmenu.com.